from Universal Studios in Hollywood, California, it's home and family. Today on the show, singer-songwriter Eric Benet and his daughter India. And the Little Prince actress Mackenzie Foy. Happened in the middle of the week it means we're halfway home, but not half. Well, I guess we're halfway there. Halfway there and yeah. halfway, yeah. yeah. You know, I did something for the first time today because of you. That's right. Yeah. Do you guys do you you, you Snapchat? Do you guys know what Snapchat is? Everybody here knows I, what Snapchat is. Well, except for Mark Stein. <laughs> I know I feel what like, it is. I don't actively pursue it with such lust as you do. Well, it's because I'm obsessed with it. If yes. you guys at home don't know what Snapchat is, it's an app that you can download on your phone, and you push your finger over your face, and then you start swiping through these different things. And they put like dog faces over your, over your head. Like for instance, I did one just yesterday where I am a piece of toast, I believe. <laughs> I mean, is that, the, look. <laughs> I'm okay. toasted. I am toasted. <laughs> Anyway, you can do like different characters and stuff, but I've taken it to you the next really level. You really entertain yourself. It's with way more stuff. fun doing it with my baby. Okay. So then I started doing Alexandra. Oh, no. Which, where is she? There she is. Oh, well, she oh. and oh. it even changes your voice. If you could hear it, she starts. Me, me, me. So I'm not sure if that's a, a squirrel or a rodent. I don't know. She thought that was hysterical. And she's gonna look at that one day and go, Yeah. Oh, really? So then. Really? Uh, when I was showing this to Mark, he said, oh, I've never done such a thing. And, I and thought, she made me. He had to do this. So here's our Mark Stonis. Oh. There you go. I was a little grumpy cat. <laughs> <laughs> Although the tongue's not working. See, there the tongue wasn't working. There it goes. <laughs> Isn't that so much fun? Hours of entertainment. You guys wow. have to do a face swap, the two of you. I'd pay money oh, yeah. for your face well, swap. Well, I didn't mm. want to show the face swap I did with Alexandra. It was kind of weird. Oh. <laughs> it's a little bit weird. <laughs> well, we're going to find out if our we'll first guest does first this guest. with his daughter, but he is Grammy-nominated R&B star. He's here to perform his new single. It's called Sunshine. Yes. Please welcome <laughs> Eric Benet <laughs> and his beautiful daughter, India. Do you Snapchat at all? Are you into the... I'm, I'm just getting into it with the little... Yeah. Faces. Yeah, yeah. yeah but Indy's something. Mm -hmm. I yeah. love it. It's you love fun. It's <laughs> not the greatest. Other talent, real talent. Let's talk about real talent <laughs> oh, for a second, sorry. okay? Not just push a button over your... Right. Phone. When did you realize your daughter could sing? India could be. always sing, but she hid this talent from me for a long time. I would, like, walk outside of her bedroom <laughs> oh door and hear her in there doing all these oh. crazy runs and stuff. So I told her she should enter uh, a talent show at our school. And I swear, it was like a Disney movie the way... I'm sorry, can I say that? Yeah, you hey, can say okay. that. Okay. But it was... You couldn't have scripted it better. She waited until all these other talented kids did their thing, and she did the last song. It was a Prince song, How Come You Don't Call Me Anymore. Yeah. All the teachers just erupted and got up. She won the talent show. It was Yay! Wow. <laughs> no way, you kept it hidden? I, I tried. <laughs> My dad and family were always like... They Same. all sing, so they're all like... Yeah. Always push yeah. me to sing. She couldn't help it. It's like we. But I love it. Yeah. You cannot hide from us. Uh uh. Yes. No, you, you cannot. Guys sing later, right? Yeah, no. for sure. Anybody can't sing? Uh, in the family? I think. Oh, in the family? Oh. No, we can all. Oh, I'm I'm like, I'm like, no, no, go I don't know if he can sing. He can't sing. <laughs> None of us here can sing except for you two. I bet our next guest can sing. She can do a lot of things. I bet she can. She broke into Hollywood with films like Interstellar and Twilight, now starring in The Little Prince, my very favorite book. Please welcome to our home, Mackenzie Foy. Hello, Mackenzie. <laughs> Mackenzie, so you were in the Twilight saga, Breaking Dawn number two, with some big names. Yeah. Taylor Lautner, Robin Pattinson, um, um, Kristen Stewart. But you managed to keep them in line, I understand. Um, well, when we were filming, there was a couple of swear, swear words going around amongst the adults. And they were like, we need to stop swearing. Could you please start a swear jar? So that's kind of, kind of how it started. Because you were nine. You I were was. I was nine, and then I turned 10. Uh, okay. <laughs> you went double digits. Oh, that okay, made it perfect. okay. Well, good. Well, I want to find out what, how much money you raised. We're going to find this out later, how much money you raised and what you did with that money, which is, so which cool. is very interesting. We, uh, we would have taken that money had we had it and put it into our DIY department. DIY department. Because it needs a little fixing up, to be honest with you. But meanwhile, we've got Dan Cola here and our DIY star <laughs> contest winner, Amber Kemp Christel. <laughs> Starting with you here. Yes, I am taking a pillow. I mean, everyone has a ton of throw pillows. I know I do. And I am turning it into 
something you're not going to believe. I'm turning it into a tote bag, so it's going to be a pretty good, good, easy DIY that you can definitely do at home. Oh, those are cool. So yeah, cool. it's those really, cute? really cool. And word has it that my man Dan is doing something <laughs> a little crazy in the kitchen. Yeah, we're getting a little scientific in the kitchen today. Uh, you know those magnets that hold up your kids' artwork on your refrigerator? Well, today I'm going to explain to you how magnets work uh, and really all of the science and the mystery behind these magical things that That's we could not live your... without. He's magnetic. And he has a magnet. <laughs> Wow. Dan, you have such a magnetic personality. <laughs> you know, I saw this segment. I saw this and I was so attracted to it. <laughs> really? But magnetic personality wasn't funny? No, because there was two better. on the nose. All right, two on the nose. All right, here to show us her favorite new food, please welcome the healthy grocery girl, Megan Roosevelt. Hi, Megan. Hi. So, Megan, we know Eric in India can sing. But you also have got some mad skills. Now, I don't want to. They have real talent. Mine is purely for fun. Right. <laughs> no, you got a Grammy winner. But wait, here, what yeah. are you doing today on the show? So uh, today, I'm going to share with you some of my new favorite grocery finds and also how to make overnight oats, which is the most popular recipe on my YouTube channel. Okay. Yeah. And you're also going to uh, rap? Yes. <gasps> wait. Would you like right to hear now? You're going right to rap? Now? Okay. Y'all ready for this? Oh, bring it on. Bring All it on. Right. Okay, here we go. Hey, 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 it's HGG. That's healthy grocery girl to you and me. <laughs> keeping it real, keeping it clean. Hey, we're on home and family. Not feeling great? Put some veggies on your plate. Fruit over fries or peas over pie. Dropping some beats for all my girls and guys like Debbie and Mark. Hey, what? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder. I don't know where to go from there other than forward. It's good to have you here. Uh, we're going to shift gears. We have some important information, some tips. You take your family outside, go on a camping trip in the great outdoors. Nothing's always safe out there. Dr. JJ is here to keep us protected. Yeah, I can't complete, uh, compete with that. We're going to talk about super flies today. <laughs> flies and ticks and all those crawling insects out there that can cause some havoc with your health and what we can do to prevent and what we can do to treat out in the wild. I've been making some huge mistakes with ticks, I'll tell you, for years. So growing have up I. in Iowa, all the way I got rid of a tick, whoo, you set me straight well, set today. Right. I yeah. know, Dr. JJ. People. I think a lot of people probably make the same mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, after we do all this, we're going to be really hungry. We are. So it's a good thing he is here. He is known for cooking up some Southern-inspired recipes at his New York City restaurant, Sweet Chick. Please welcome back to our kitchen, John Seymour. John, thanks for having me back. So, all right, John. Yes. You are making a Southern staple for us today. We are. Last time I was here, I made our fried chicken and waffles. Today, I'm going to be making blackened catfish mm. and mm. some kohlrabi slaw. So, if, you know, if you're and, in the market, that's something... You should pick up. That is not a southern accent, my friend. No, no, this is definitely a New York <laughs> accent. And we're known for chicken and waffles, and I told you before, chicken and waffles started in New York, so I'll tell you all about that I later. I not believe that. I, I know. Hey. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> exactly. And we have somebody in the hot seat today. She's answered some questions. You're going to fess up, Orly Shani. I am. I am. I'm really excited because today we're going to get to answer some of your Facebook questions, and we get such thoughtful, interesting, creative questions on there. So we've got a few DIYs and even a couple personal questions, which are a little embarrassing, but I'm willing to share. Well, <laughs> we have some interesting and personal questions for Eric and India next. Don't go away. <laughs> Many days left of summer vacation, but if you're still looking for fun, entertaining ways to entertain your kids because they're home for a long time, <laughs> a fun way to do that <laughs> is magnetic slime. And Dan Kohler is here to show us That's this right. very interesting science That's project. Right. Well, you know, we've all got magnets on our refrigerators at home, and I thought it'd be really fun to explain to our audience how magnets work at home. And when I started thinking about this at home, I realized this is a great opportunity to do a DIY with your kids that not only entertains them, but also is really educational. Is it True. just as simple as a plus and a positive, a negative and a positive? Nah, it's a little more complicated than okay. that, but I'm gonna help you understand this right now, okay. because you know, I think we, we use the word magnet all the time, but we don't understand what it is. Now, a magnet is quite simply anything that exerts a magnetic field, and we know that magnetic field, we can see it, Right. Because a, a, a magnet can oh, act yeah. on these iron filings invisibly, right? But saying that something has a magnetic field is still kind of confusing. So I'm going to break this down a little more by using some shoes. That's Debbie, like those things. Is your, uh, your shoe closet pretty packed? Are those mine? Yeah, these are your shoes. Oh, we took some. I was wondering. <laughs> now, inside, not every, mine. inside every magnet, you've got something called a domain. And I'm going to use this shoe box as an example for a domain. Inside every domain, 
you've got some electrons, which we're gonna use these shoes to, to okay. help you understand. Now, if the uh, electrons are just kind of thrown in there willy-nilly, and the domains are all packed in your closet in a strange way, you don't have a magnet. There's nothing moving in the same way. But when your electrons are spinning in the same direction, and all of your domains and all of the electrons are lined up perfectly. I'm just right. Yep. Everything is together. This is what you call a magnet. It's all about those spinning electrons, and all of a sudden, everything is exerting a force in one direction. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So now, that's why you like shoes so much. That, that explains you're, why I like shoes so much. I figured, I figured yeah. that's why you have so many shoes in your closet. <laughs> now, uh, this, this actually took a very long time to discover. We didn't figure out how magnets were working for a long time, but that didn't stop us from using them. Magnets have been used around the world for centuries. I mean, we even, even have evidence in 600 BC uh, in Greece, they're using the word magnet to describe a rock that attracts iron. Mm. But we still didn't know how it worked? We still didn't actually know. Strange. We were, it was very recently that we were able to use this analogy of, of shoe yeah. boxes and shoes, but to say that there are domains and electrons to describe how a magnet exerts a force. Okay. But even though we couldn't describe them, we could make use of them. Uh, sailors, for instance, noticed that thin pieces of metal began to align with the North, the North Pole, right? We, you normally- and This was an accident? Well, yeah, you start to notice it. I'm gonna pull up a, a compass here so we can prove this, but you can make a compass at home and it's very easy. First thing you wanna do is just cut off a small piece of wine cork. Okay. That's a tiny little knife. The sailors would do this? Well, the sailors had other ways of making compasses, oh, okay. but this is the they easiest way for you to do it at home. I just days. thought, yo ho and a bottle of rum, maybe kinda, <laughs> maybe helped out a little bit there. Bottle of rum. <laughs> now, once we have that, we're gonna take, this is just a strong magnet, and I'm gonna groom a regular sewing needle. You can see this right here. And grooming the needle means I'm just going to brush it across the magnet 10, 15 times in the same direction. Is that direction. transferring its, well, its powers? It's not actually transferring. What it's doing, imagine that this needle is Debbie's shoe closet. What it's doing right now <laughs> is organizing every one of those shoe boxes in a line. It's actually cleaning up that closet so that everything is pointing in the same direction. Oh, nice. And suddenly- oh, yeah, Who knew? Yeah, suddenly what you have, all you have to do here is insert that needle through the wine cork. Okay. Well, those sailors had a lot of time on there. Yeah, they sure well, did. And See, it's big, Mark. It's oh, big. That's right. We've got a little glass of water here. You put the compass right in the water. It will always no way. align. What? No. What? And you can actually Stop prove this right now. If you're looking at my compass right here. Okay, that is so weird. Now, how long will it stay aligned uh, like that? Uh, well, uh, look, it's, it's, it's still going, still going, yeah, still going to go back and forth. Uh, it actually is going to hold that for at least a couple of days. And this, okay. is, this is how you would make a compass early, early on. Now we obviously use more technologies. That one is based on GPS. But there's another really great way to use magnets at home, and that is to make magnetic slime. This is one of my favorite Never things to do. My now and my we, kids are interested. Yeah, now your kids are interested. Yeah. Now that they understand how magnets work. We did this a little bit earlier, so I'm going to roll in some tape and show you how we did this. It's so easy. The setup's super easy. The first thing you do is you get some Stay Flow starch. Just a half cup of that. And I'm gonna stir into that some synthetic iron oxide. You can also use some iron filings. All of these things are very easy to find at, uh, on Amazon or even at craft stores. Next up, I'm gonna stir in half a cup of Elmer's glue, the same amount as the starch. You just wanna make sure it's even and stir it and stir it and then get your hands in there. Everyone put your gloves on. Okay. This gets really messy. You're gonna to wanna to knead oh, that yeah. together. <laughs> Yeah, Dad's gonna love yeah. that. But once you're there, it can dry for a little bit, and suddenly, <gasps> you've what? got... in the world? It's like Play-Doh. Well, it's more like Silly Putty. It's magnetic Silly Putty, and we can actually begin to grab it with a magnet. So we just dump this out? <gasps> yeah. Everyone, you can dump it out, and you start playing it with you. Oh my gosh, ew. Yeah. I feel like it's like something from Ghostbusters. Oh, it totally is. Oh and it's so much fun to figure out that you can actually manipulate this slime with a magnet, and it's gonna grab it wherever you are. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh boy. Now these magnets that I'm using are made from an, uh, an element called neodymium, which means they are very, very strong magnets, and that's something you wanna be uh, careful with when you're playing at home. Make oh. sure your kids are playing with m these strong magnets with supervision. You feel it pulling? Because otherwise, they can snap they their fingers. Oh, wow, it now, just is, wants to take Is this safe for kids to play with? Oh, absolutely oh. safe to play with. You don't wanna consume it at all. Okay, <laughs> it doesn't look very edible anyway. Oh, 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 they're not oh, eating sorry. it at all. But, this, uh, but playing with magnets is very safe at home, and it's a great way to understand how this stuff works. 
Probably wear oh. gloves though, huh? Oh yeah, that would definitely be essential. Wear gloves. So neat, like you could probably Wait. do some really cool like gags with or this magic stuff. tricks. Oh, yeah, yeah, cool. right. But you can see, I mean, oh, I'm I'm, I'm not even touching this, and it is just leaping up. Oh. Look at, oh, <laughs> oh. Let me see. Do yours again? It just. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> Ew, I love the consistency oh. of this. Oh my God. I, then a, How much does this cost, Dan? Honestly, this is one of the cheapest DIYs. It's a bucket of glue, some starch, and some uh, iron filings. This is five to ten dollars. That's it. Yeah, you're gonna, and you can use some magnets that you've got on their fridge, or you can buy these uh, these more these stronger magnets, oh, the neodymium magnets. My kids at home. will find a million. It's so much fun to play with your kids. And, and again, you can keep this for a couple of days. It's still magnetic. Just want to find out. Just testing. Does this wash out of your clothes? Absolutely. Okay, oh, perfect. Wow. Good. Then they can oh play with gosh. it. More information from Dan by checking out his website. Um, here, high five. High five. <laughs> Next up, it's our DIY star winner, Amber Kemp Grissel. This was totally amazing, and I'm going to show you a craft that is totes adorbs in just a minute with a throw pillow. You can't wait to see this. <laughs> Well, in honor of Eric here in India, why not? We got a parent, we got a father, we got a daughter. She was a teen at one point, I'm sure. And of course, Mackenzie is here. So we thought, let's play a very special edition of Read My Lips, What the Parents Say to Their Teens edition. This ought to get real interesting <laughs> real quick. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is fun to play with your family at home, of course, unless you do live with a teen, then it may be frustrating for you. But um, it's very simple. One person, in this case, Debbie, who's ever sitting in this chair, is going to put headphones on over their ears. They're not going to hear a thing it because it's going to be loud that. music playing in there. And their teammate, Mackenzie, in this case, is going to yeah. read a phrase I show her. And she's going to, Debbie's going to try to read her teammate's lips to get the answer right, okay? You're going to have three tries. You'll get to say it three times to her. You'll say it once, she'll guess. You'll say it again, she'll guess. The third time, guess. If you get it right, you get a point. If not, you go join the others over there. We rotate. It's that simple and uh, put them on. I could guess the number one thing that parents say to their kids. <laughs> Just, no! <laughs> <laughs> put them over. You got Get it over your ears, okay? All right. You ready? Okay. Again, this is something parents say to their teens, okay? Here's your first try. Go ahead. Get off your phone. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> say it again. You go. No, don't say it again. But I, I have no idea. Okay. Bro. Say it. Go again. Get Hi. off your phone. Go to your room. Nope. Nope. Third try. Get off your phone. Get off your phone. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's rotate. You guys, oh. come on. Come on over, Eric. All right. Oh. Go to Amber. Uh, right. Eric and Amber. All right. Okay. You guys are oh, set. My shoe just Who's going to be? Oh, not bad. All right. You won't put the folds oh, on. Shoe. Oh, shoe no. got stuck. Get those on. <laughs> Your shoe got stuck. Oh. I do. I do, <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> okay. Remember, this is what you, your parent would say to their teen, okay? I'm sure you say, you'll be saying a lot, okay? Here's your first guess. Oh. Take a shower. <laughs> do it again. Okay, second try. Take a shower. Uh, Matt Lauer. <laughs> no. Because uh, most teams one, say one that. One one Here's your third try. Take a shower. Take a shower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many times I look at my son and I go, Matt Lauer. Yeah. Matt Lauer. Right now. Yeah, okay. Matt Lauer. And Aunt Curry. And Aunt Curry. Matt Lauer. And I come like, Dad, I took another shower. No, I said Matt Lauer. Okay, here we go. You good? All right, here we go. All right. Okay. I bet you this has been said to you many times. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when you were a teen. Oh, okay, yeah. here we go. Your first try. Make your bed. Make your bed! <laughs> 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 Wow. Oh Round two, God, come on smart. up. What's up? We you are oddly smart. It's weird. <laughs> it's here. You can put those okay. on. Wow. Apparently, they're Just still saying it to him. <laughs> that he. Okay, put okay. those over those ear, or over your ears. All right. Okay, uh, it's, it's going to be loud. Okay, you're okay. good? Okay. Got it. You got it. You're set. First try. When are you coming home? When are you coming home? <laughs> <laughs> All right, get back up here. Get back up here. All right, All right. come on, you guys back up. Rotate, rotate. We switch. We switch. All right. Amber, make sure you get those on the ears there, okay? All right, yes, sir. 
All right. Now, I know you, as a dad, probably said this, right? All right, I did. You got it? I did. Can I do it in a, uh, an accent? You can like, do it anyway. Like <laughs> we Westeros. Game of Thrones. <laughs> okay. You're good. You All got right. it? Let me see Let's it see one time. Touch. Got it. Okay. Turn off the TV. Seven, eleven, seven. <laughs> Turn off the TV. Turn the seats in. <laughs> Turn and last try. Turn off the TV. Turn off the TV! <laughs> You can put a head bob if you want with it. I saw it. Then I turned that TV off. Wow. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Oh my gosh, we've never you could, been tied like this. It's a tied game. I know we've never I, had one this good. You can oh. tell we've all been teams, right? Okay, this, okay we, there we go. I think sweet. We'll, okay, sweet. Here, Here we, we go. go. You got it on there? This one is a good one. You good? I guess. Yes, okay. First try. Answer my call. Ask your mother? No. no, no. <laughs> That's a good one. Answer my call. Oh my God. <laughs> Third try. Here we go. Answer my call. Answer my call. Oh! Yes. 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 <laughs> wow. I don't wow. Know if I've ever <laughs> Come on, come on, keep going. Go, I mean, we are tied. We're gonna go around. We're gonna go. one quick okay. round. One quick okay, round. Okay. All Let's right, see. this is too fun. We're tied. We're doing it. We're, Wait, we're, I think oh, they want me. Okay. Yeah, you get yeah, that. Okay. Why'd you take those from okay, me? Okay, okay. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can get it. Okay, we are tied. Oh. You good? I hear that one a lot. Okay, here we go. First round. Take out the garbage. Take your thermos. Oops. Second round. Take out the garbage. Stay with the thermos? What are you saying about a thermos? <laughs> like a lunchbox? Focus, focus, what are you focus, saying? Focus, focus, okay. Focus, okay. Take out the garbage. Charmin? What? Oh, no, no, what did you want? <laughs> Take out the garbage. Okay, let's see if we got a winner. Come on. All right, come on up, come on up. Okay, We're gonna get. Hard. We're gonna find us a winner quick. Who got okay. okay. Here we go. Guessing? Okay. Here we go. go. Okay, here we I'm go. I'm much right. better at talking than it. guessing. Let's see if we can do. Okay. okay. You're good. Mm -hmm. He's good. You're good. First try. Here we go. Wash your face. Uh, golden place. <laughs> okay. Second wash door. your face. Uh, wash your face. Yeah! yeah! Or golden place. Oh, uh, golden place. They are in the lead. Right. This is either for a tie. <laughs> If you get this on the first try, oh, you no. win. We, okay. You got to get it on the first try. We if you get it on the second, we can do this. Okay. We can do this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. First try, okay, okay. you get it. Okay. No acting, just say it. Brush your teeth. Wash the dishes. But, oh, for the tie, for the tie. Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. There you go. We got a tie. We have got a tie. <laughs> nice job. Nice. Here comes the trophy. Here we go. Here you go, there you go, there it is. You've got, there you go. Because I said so, trophy. Wonderful, thank you so much for being here, Eric and India. By the way, the new album. Yes, you guys are tied. Yes. Your new album's coming out in a few months. Yes, I'm putting out music through my band, India and the Jones. And she's amazing. She's a couple of You know what else is amazing? Even though I made her lose, Mackenzie Foy. And we are talking about her new film, The Little Prince. You guys come back. Sorry. If you could hear what we talk about in between the breaks right here, it's pretty funny. Okay. All right, she's only 15 years old, and she has worked with some really big names in Hollywood already. Matthew McConaughey, Jessica Chastain, Jeff Bridges. Wow. Oh, no big deal. And now she's starring in the Netflix movie, The Little Prince. Please welcome Mackenzie Foy. Welcome to The Little Prince. Mackenzie, that was my favorite book growing up. Did you, were you a big fan before yes, you got involved? Yes, definitely. I love the book. I think I read it in about the fourth grade, and I've been in love with it ever since. It oh. really is such a great story, isn't it? It is. What strikes you about it? What, or what, what grabbed your attention about it? Just all the different layers about the book, and that how, depending on where you are in your life, it'll mean something different to you. Right. It's just something really cool and unique about it. And I heard that you actually read it almost every single day until you started filming. I did, I did, to kind of bring the essence of the book into the little girl, because she isn't a character in the book. I read it, and that way I had the story fresh in my mind. Well, we have a clip so um, where you play a little girl who escapes into this fantasy world with, um, with the aviator. Take a look. Hello? 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 
There who don't know the story, could you give them a brief synopsis of what The Little Prince is? Um, well, The Little Prince, the movie, is different from the book. It's an adaptation. And basically, you're following the journey of the little girl as she discovers the story of The Little Prince. It's oh. really sweet. It's so beautiful. For you guys that, who don't know it, it's Saint Exupéry. It's one of the greatest books ever. You have worked with some really, really big names in your, in your few years. I mean, yeah. your first movie was when you were nine. You're only 15 now. What do you think is the best advice that any of the big actors that you've know, worked with? I know, I know. What's that? Buy low, sell high, or buy... Maybe, mid, buy mid, low, sell, sell high, high, perhaps. But she's 15, Mark. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think the best advice was from Anne Hathaway, and she told me to not judge myself so hard when I watch myself on screen, and to see it as a learning curve, and not wow. as a mistake. That's What's, great advice. I, that sounds like something she she learned herself. I mean, she's yeah. such a talented actress. I'm sure through the work and being in that process, mm -hmm. seeing yourself as big as a Buick up there on the screen, you probably see every flaw rather yeah, than seeing yeah. your greatness. Too, you yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, I heard Cindy Crawford also had a big impact on your on your career yes. or your life. How so? Um, well, before I started acting, I was a print work model, and I worked for her furniture company for. The mm -hmm. print, mm -hmm. and she asked me to be in her commercial playing her daughter, and I said yes, and that's Gosh, kind of when I first got bit by the acting bug and fell in love with it. She's lovely. How old were you then? I was little. Like I think three. It, and now, yeah. I think four, maybe six. Yeah, somewhere. Do you remember yeah. the commercial? I remember it vaguely. Oh, it was a very long time ago. You. <laughs> Take a look. If your family is anything like mine, you live in your family room. For us, it's our place to hang out, relax, and do all the things we love doing together. It's where we feel the most comfortable. <laughs> oh, so, so little. You were so little, and you were still so little when you were in the Twilight series. You were only yeah. nine years old, and you I were was. acting opposite Kristen Stewart and Did and you, uh, and uh, Taylor Lautner and Robert Pattinson. Did you have an idea how massive that franchise was while you were doing it? Well. I had an like I had an idea that it was like something that people liked that it yeah. was popular, but I didn't realize how big it was. Huge. Yeah. Like, and how big it would be. Yeah. It just kept yeah. getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. But you did you were aware that some of the people on set had potty mouths. Um, <laughs> yeah, yes. you were very well aware of that. <laughs> and I I understand that you happened to get some money out of them because of it. Um yeah, they were they were kind of like, okay, we're we're cussing more than we should <laughs> and we would like to Con like control ourselves a little better. Yeah, they, a little self-control. They're like, self please yeah. start a swear jar, please. And I was like, I don't know. And they're like, please. So eventually, I started. It was like this little plastic tub covered in stickers. Right. And then uh, I donated all of it to St. Jude's. Wait, wait, wait. So every time somebody would swear, you'd go around and go, uh, -uh put it in the yeah. payout. How much did you collect? I don't remember. Well, Probably thousands of remember. dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Around here, we would go, yeah, we would be, put money in the jar, Mark. <laughs> yeah, that's not a big enough jar uh, for it. There'd be a lot of IOUs in there. Well, um, I also understand that you've been cast in a new role, too. I have. Which is the? Uh, the Nutcracker in the Four Realms as Clara. That must be an amazing opportunity waiting for you. I'm extremely excited for it. Well, you cannot go do the Nutcracker without no. actually having a gift from us, and you'll remember this forever. It's our version of the very small <laughs> version of the Nutcracker. There you go. Oh, that's adorable. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. Please cherish it forever. I will. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You guys check out Mackenzie and the Little Prince streaming on Netflix this Friday, and it will also be in theaters in limited <laughs> release. And up next, we're eating. Now we're eating. Oh, going over there to see John in the kitchen. Yeah.